hello it's Sarah so I've been busy playing with my clay and I wanted to share a couple things I've been making and um, yeah so I made the elephant and some dragonflies um, the Christy Friesen ones that I was talking about and I kind of got discouraged a little bit I mean my husband and kids think it turned out okay but it was hard it was frustrating because you had to like poke holes in the side of his head and put the ears in and then while I was getting them in I was squishing the face and oh it was hard it was it was just hard to do um, I mean he turned out okay he's steampunky I used quartz for the tusks um, and I used like a big um, jump ring for the monocle um, and then I made him into a magnet so he's up on my fridge too with my little um with my chameleon or my gecko whatever he is chameleon um so i did him and i mean you can just kind of tell that like his eyes this ring around his eye should be more defined but it got squished <laughs> when i was trying to hold him steady and um you know so he's a little bit misshapen and um one ear is much bigger than the other but for a first attempt, it was okay, but I don't really think I'll make another one. So there's that. And then this was my first dragonfly, which I think turned out really cool. This was kind of uh, a, very much like the one in the book um, with the white wings and, um, sorry. Uh, but anyway, uh, he turned out pretty cool. Um, a little out of proportion. I think the wings should probably be a tiny bit shorter um, and that's just my, you know, critical eye saying that, but, uh, still kind of cool, nice and steampunk. And then this is another one and he's a little bit misproportionate too. Um, this one I made into a magnet though. I like him. I just like how the, um, wings looked really iridescent and stuff. So that was kind of cool. Um, I just put more gears on him and made them kind of how I wanted to. His wings turned out like wider and, um, you know, it's funny how no two are ever the same, but I did the body the same as the elephant's trunk. So it came out a bit wider. So I thought the wings whoops, should be wider too. All right. So then I put them away because, and I never made my, my, what was it? A shark and I have a fish to make, but I was searching on YouTube, of course, and I came across, uh, Pinterest, some Pinterest pictures. And so I made this. Now, I have had these molds for a while. I showed you I have this one is kind of like, I forget what it's called. But I think it's like, it's just people and they're kind of like a little bit um, old school people or something. I forget what it's called. And then this one is the, um, like, just like, they look like moon faces and stuff. So this is the one I used for this. I also got some clay um what are these called these are by lisa pavelka these are i ordered these texture stamps um i ordered these from her website so uh i got several or well, four four different ones of them but this one is uh it's called about face so i did this little tile with one of those stamps i just put the impression in there and, you know, I haven't played much with these, but I think you can use um, ink on these and then the like the and ink the impression into the clay and then use the um, mica powder. So I'm going to play with that a little bit more. Um, then there's this one is called Persian rug, I think. Yeah, Persian carpet. And then this one's called tooled leather and I've been using the tooled leather quite a bit. I really like this one. And that's what I used. Now this is a um, paper mache box. And I just used um, uh, Martha Stewart's pearl paint on this because I didn't cover the bottom of the box with clay. This whole top lid is covered with clay. Um, I just used the uh, Scotch Quick Dry Adhesive and um, glued it down. And I actually baked it on the lid like this. I just put the whole thing in the oven. And... I learned from that because it actually did get burned a little bit, which you can't really tell because I actually covered that with, this is pearl clay, but I covered it with the Martha Stewart pearl paint and it actually hit it. So I'm very happy about that. Um, 
because it just looked a little like there was a little stripe of like a brown tinge to it kind of like when you burn cookies you know it's that like little mark and you can tell a little bit there's a difference in the way it shines but it's very subtle so I'm very happy I fixed it because it bothered me like I worked hard on it and this is actually um inspired like I said from a Pinterest piece and I'll try to find the name because this was um she had done it on a light switch cover and then I just I didn't have any light switch covers so I had these little boxes and I just figured I'm going to try it on that and I went for it and um it's a little different from hers I definitely put more on mine because I always I just keep going and I can't stop myself but and I added rhinestones and I added these beads that I had and um I think it turned out really cool I was really happy with it so then I made another one this one I just made today, um, and I hope my light's okay. It's very bright. Let's see. But I used some bla uh, blue pearl clay and mixed that in with, um, like, I used a white glittery clay. Like, this has glitter in it, and a light blue, and just mixed some colors, and then rhinestones again. And this time I covered the whole box with the clay, and I just used that uh, Lisa Pavelka um, tooled leather stamp again and just kind of and just put pearl um, pearl X on there pearl colored pearl X and just you just leave it off um, the top part of the bottom so that the lid can still fit on so I'm liking this a lot I'm gonna play with this some more I actually have I bought the uh, the other I guess it's called the under the sea let me say it's called um, sea life and this is a Sculpey mold, and I just got this at Michael's today. So I was playing with these, and I want to show you. Um, they actually have another one that's um, flowers, but I got this. So I think I'm going to try and play with this. I just, um, I'm going to move this a little. But this is, I've had this for a while, this picture frame. I'm going to see if I can make, like, an underwater theme on this, and I'll show you when I'm done. But I did do all the critters. I have a dolphin. This is like kind of a manatee thing, or maybe it's a seal. I think it's like a baby seal, so that's so cute. A whale, some fish, a turtle, some shells, and a seahorse. So I am into the clay for the moment. I ended up getting myself an acrylic roller, which it's not a, a brayer, but it's purple, and I liked it. And then this is just another art tile that I made. This is... um kind of a copy again of Christina um what is her name oh no Co oh you know the one I was talking about the last time on my um last video too um and I had these rhinestones or these um yeah they're rhinestones I went to Hobby Lobby and I got some made sure they were glass um and just made this one kind of a more celestial one so turned out cool all right, you guys, I'm really having fun with this. Oh, and then I just made this one tonight. I used the face from this, just like this bald face right here. It doesn't have any hair on it. And then I just, I don't know, I had clay out. It was this blue, which I really like that color, but then I ended up putting gold all over it. And I put makeup on her and stuff with the mica powders. But pretty cool. All right. I'm playing. I'm just winging it. And I'm just getting ideas from Pinterest and everything. So, all right, you guys. Thanks for watching.